Hello, my name is Brian Johnson and welcome to BrashMeans.org stock analysis and training videos. Um, today we're going to take a look at CVEO, which is um, CVO um, Corporation. Um, basically, I think it is an oil stock, but um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're looking at the chart here. And what I want to look at again is um, um, what caught my eye is a, is a chart that I can um, that I can recognize a pattern in, and uh, as far as um, Elliott Wave is concerned, or any other pattern, um, whether it's a double top, double bottom, or triangles, or something, something that I can recognize in and get a um, feel for which way that I can anticipate this stock um, to move, so I can. Um, um, so I can buy it and, and try to make some money off it. But this this is um, clearly in a downtrend here. And um, I already labeled the chart. I'm going to put the uh, annotations back on. But um, if you go here, <clears throat> you got one, two here. Um, wave three, again, which is wave three is never the shortest wave. Um, most of the time is, is um most of the time it's the longest, but you know, you can take a look at wave five here from here to here. Clearly wave three is the longest, but we got wave four here. We got an A, and I didn't label this, um, which is this basically is an A, B, C, W, X. Then you have A. Let me put the um the labeling up here so you can get a um, better feel here. going on We have the um, triangle here that makes up basically wave B. Again, triangles form independently in um, wave B. So we have here, which is the label the triangle. Um, let me see here. Oh, I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to keep on recording anyway. We got wave four here. We going down to wave five. And the portion I want to get to is basically right here, which is wave five. Then you got a A, B, C correction. And the reason why I want to bring up this A, B, C correction is because we're going to take a look here. The reason what made me um, short this stock, and this is a stock that I'm currently um, that I currently have right now, and um, I sold a portion of it yesterday, and I kept some of it because I. Still think it's gonna go lower than what it is, but it's kind of hit resistance right here. If you, as you can see, I mean, I'm sorry, support. It's kind of riding on support here, and it's basically halfway of this um, of the um, of the channel here. So look, once it hits support, it may bounce out and, and come up a little bit, and it probably form wave one, two. I think this is wave one. And it's probably hit wave two here and come on back down. That's what I'm thinking. But if this stock would have came up and and would have closed above this um, the top end of this channel here, I, I would have um, it would have been to the long side. I would have had um, another forecast that the stock was going to rise. But this stock hit hit um, resistance and falling back down. And I'm gonna take a um, and that's the reason I um, kind of got into this stock because it's, it's contained within the parallel um, parallel channel here. But if you look here, break to break down this ABC correction. This is wave five. We got A, B, C. Then you got one, two. Then you got another one, two here. Three, four, five. This is the end of this um, extended wave three. Then you got four, five. I mean three, four, five, and this is where I shorted that up here. 
as you look pretty close, you can see the red marking in here. But what we have here is we've formed wave three and four, and it's probably going to come a little lower here for wave five and uh, maybe a little lower than wave three here and, and go back up, possible. But initially, I think it's going to... Uh, I think it's going to go up a little bit, not knowing how far, and then I think it's going to come all the way down, at least to here, roughly around here. So I'm going to see what this stock do. And, um, and basically, again, if you look here, it's contained within the um, parallel um, channel. So we have a dark cloud cover here, which is, um, the channel here, just you have a long white shot. I mean, a uh, long white candle. Then you have a, a long dark candle, which which basically is a dark cloud cover. That's kind of like letting you know that it's it's gonna fall. See see how this long candle here going down. We had a fall, but it came lower, but it kind of recovered and went up to form wave five. It's almost like it's a fake out and came back just to go down again, but um. Um, just to see what this stock is going to do in the in the, uh, in the near future, I believe. So just keep an eye on this. And if it breaks this lower support line here, it's going to go even lower. So keep a lookout for this stock. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for joining.